Hey guys, Ashley here with a uh, product review on the Keurig K Slim. This is your single serve, okay? So um, I just want to talk to you guys on what I think of the the overall Keurig, the physical appearance of it, you know, what it can do, how it's worked for me since I've had it. I've had it for about a year and um, <clears throat> what I like and things like that. So let's get started. So um, physically... As you can see, it, I mean, it's slim, so you don't need that much space. It fits on just about, I would think, any countertop. It really just depends on your home. So your width of the Keurig, how wide it is, your width is only about 4.76, which is not bad at all. I mean, that means it can fit, like I, like I just stated, just about anywhere for your width. Your depth of the Keurig, we're looking at about 15.2. So that's how deep it is. And when it's talking about depth, it's talking about this centerpiece here, like how deep that is, things of that nature. So that's not that's not that deep at all. That's that's good. And then as far as your height, okay, when it's closed, you're looking at about 12.14 for your height. When your lid here is open, you're looking at about 16.75 for your height. So it's still, I don't, it won't be that tall where it cannot fit in just about anywhere you, you store it. Okay. Um, and then obviously on your top, you have your controls. Um, you have your 10 ounce, you have your eight ounce, um, and your 12 ounce, 12 ounces, the max you can use for how big of a cup of coffee you, you want. Um, and then you have your add water and then you have your D scale. Um, so that's really good. And then your power button is on the top. So your water tank on the back, you know, how often are you going to have to fill that? So I usually have a cup of coffee a day and I want to say usually every day. So Monday through Friday, obviously, and then um, usually on the weekends. But if I'm just calculating Monday through Friday for how often I have a cup of coffee, um, I usually end up filling this, my water tank, about on the on the fifth day. Usually I have to fill it up because then my water tank is about here. And at that point, when your water tank is around that area, that low, you will get a light indicator from the Keurig at the top telling you to add some more water. Okay, so that um, is something I like because it lets me know. I need to fill more water. Fill your water on the back here. This slides off, comes off just like that. And then you add some more water. So you just wanna keep that mindful. This also comes off. And I think I can just do it here. Um, yeah, that comes off. I, I just don't wanna take that fully apart, but uh, that comes off and that goes back down in there um, for you to, add your water okay so that way it's it's always filled and then this comes off so if you want to clean it you can simply just grab this by just picking it up and taking it off and then this comes off even as well so if you're wondering like oh man I kind of don't want to show you guys oh it's actually not that bad i thought it was gonna be gross but um just slide this off just like that and you can easily clean this and just throw it in your dishwasher. So that's one thing I like about it, how easily you can just take these components off and you can just store it in your dishwasher. So that's simple enough. And then when you wanna put this back on, you just simply slide it like that and then put your, put your lid back on and it fits in there just perfect. So um, I had the, the first like generation Keurig, if anybody remember, I had the big bulky, uh, red Keurig and man I remember when I was moving and like grabbing that from my house like man that thing took up so much space <laughs> with this I liked it because uh, it was slim so I could fit it in I could slide it in just about any counter um, and Keurig makes a bunch of different Keurigs you know they got like literally the super small mini Keurig where it can fit in a dorm room and things of that nature and I feel like this one can too, um, even though it's not the super, super mini slim one, it still can fit because of how, how slim it is here. 
Um, so I like that a lot um, because it can fit anywhere. And then uh, obviously your uh, here your pod just goes right in here and uh, drop it in there just like that. Um, what did I just do? Oh, drop it in there and then this goes down and then your indicator light will start to blink here. Um, telling you, you mean you click which one you want, starts brewing, and then you're all set to go. So it's easy to use, uh, it's lightweight. You can take the com components off so you can quickly clean them. And you get a good amount of time before you have to uh, fill it up with water again. And you can even take that little piece off in the back, throw it in the dishwasher as well. Um, and you're good to go. Um, I haven't experienced anything that I didn't like with the Keurig yet. So yeah, so for me, it's been good. Like I haven't got uh, dealt with anything bad. So there we go. And I like black too. They do come in multiple colors, obviously, not just black, you know, there's a bunch. Um, so black, red, white, uh, or burgundy, I would call it. And uh, a lot of options for you to choose from. Choose from. So hope you guys enjoyed. And till again, until we see each other again, have a good day. Bye.